qualifying where we're waiting for the lights to turn green in the pit lane to signify the start of the session here at the Hockenheim ring for this weekend's German Grand Prix. Drivers tend to complain about tyre wear around this track and the compounds on offer this weekend aren't likely to put that issue to bed. Is this going to be about who can make the tyres last? Tyre wear will probably be the dominating factor around this track. It's so easy to use up the life in your tyres as you seek to find the lap time. If you have a good balance to begin with, like the Mercedes and Red Bull, you'll always stand a better chance. So here we are guys, ready for the qualifying session of the German Grand Prix. Uh, today's video did show you the practice session because uh, simply enough I didn't record it. I forgot to record that part of the video but um, I gotta say everything was perfect and uh, we did we were perfect in every single test but now we're straight off to qualifying. Um, we're gonna go off some laps I'm gonna show you only my fastest lap of this station so um, what are we waiting there. for let us go out on the track and uh, start our fastest lap the car said in P4 um, it's really really good I think uh, even with Dolly Proof at the Kodaka right here thank you very very much about that but anyways uh, my laps would have been invalidated right here and I should not I shouldn't have completed the lap but as long as the game didn't give me the penalty then I'm just gonna get on with it but first sector we're fastest um, by two tests and um, also now through the second sector we were just a little bit slower than uh, Max Verstappen but not very very slow we're now uh, caught up to some traffic from Marcus who went down the inside we didn't lose any time at all I believe and uh, thank god it didn't hold us up anymore so um, now going through the last corner is it now through the final corner to come across the line to have a one 14, 15 it was, 115, and I believe we got pole position just for some thousands of a second. Let's take, let's get, let's get the clay up. Oh my god, I can't even speak. That was very, very close. 15 thousands of a second ahead of Max Verstappen. That is absolutely amazing. My team is starting P6, but we started for pole position the German Grand Prix, so what a better way to start the weekend. It's going to the race. And hope we can do well, guys. guys on the grid for the German Grand Prix we suffered poor position after a very very close qualifying session I got with me it was a very very close qualifying session to get that poor position and I'm very very happy to set such a lap of course if I would have do the corner guy I think we would have been on poor position but um, you know um, if a stopper is really is really faster than me on raw pace here on the race pace I mean um, we'll see what he can do. We'll see if he can beat us, but um, I don't think so. I think we can beat him, but uh, dry condition it's going to be for the whole race, for the entirety of this race. And um, it's a bit of a straight out. We've got to do three pit stops, so probably tire wear is really bad on this track, but gonna see about that. But go away and hold some expectations for the tower. I think I'm gonna get away with one less pit stop. Imagine like. Safety car comes down or something like we just um, have uh, to keep in mind the safety car could come out, everything can happen in Formula One. 
But now it's time for the start. We mustn't lose the, the lead into turn one, and it slides out. And away we go for the German Grand Prix once again. Verstappen gets off to a terrible start. Ricardo, Daniel Ricardo, his teammates, gets him past into turn one. He's up into P2. Daniel Ricardo has overtaken Verstappen for P2. Verstappen once again. Uh, didn't get off to the perfect start, he didn't get off to an ideal start for himself he lost the position and now he's got a lot of job to do because he has to overtake his teammates and uh, hold me up like, yeah. um, it's going to be a pretty hard overtake for Verstappen uh, Ricardo is a very very good driver and I don't think he's gonna let very easily Verstappen through well I think there's a pile up right here I think like into I think I think you saw yes safety car. I think you saw the yellow flags. There was a bit of a pile up right here to the last corner. But I'm gonna check out the replay. Unfortunately, I couldn't get like uh, how like the beginning of the cross. How did it happen? But you can see huge pile up. There is literally everybody. There is the Zalbers. There are. There was a Ferrari really of Kimi Raikkonen, the, the Manners, the Torossos, my teammate, and unfortunately we did, we couldn't get the um, a clip from um, from the beginning of the cross. But I think that's going to be my thumbnail done. <laughs> but um, we we are off to racing again. Truck is clear, as you can see, as Jeff told us, um, and the safety car is back into the pits. We are. Back into racing, and as you can see now, lap second start from first pit stop. I'm gonna enter, I think, for a set of mediums. I think we're gonna enter for a set of mediums right here. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be our first pit stop. Uh, Verstappen also gets into the pits uh, together with Lewis Hamilton, but um, gonna wait and see also what the strategy of the others is going to be. We are entering for a set of soft tires, not a set of medium tires, for a set of mediums. Instead of me has gone uh, I think Max Verstappen for a set of medium so we're gonna see how will that work for Max Verstappen then. But um, yeah we're just gonna wait and see how will that work for Max. Um, my strategy said medium but I went on for a set of soft just to push a little bit more and then I think we could uh, go into a set of medium. So we could even make it on, this, on uh, two sets of soft. We'll see what we can do about that but Dan Ricardo has overtaken us, he's now overtaking the slower cars and we're now going around the outside of Queer because we, we are in a bit of a rust and around the outside of Rio Harianto possibly we lose the back end but we make it stick around the outside of Rio Harianto wonderful move I believe right here uh, but uh, yeah now we caught up uh, at the back out of uh, Tari Ricardo, I've lost my words there with that battle, with that move, it was absolutely insane Dan Ricardo gets slowed up by Jensen Patton we couldn't uh, make a double move right here, uh, but uh, I think it's good enough to get James and Bata and be straight off behind Dan Ricardo. We're gonna have DRS probably in the next lap, or actually this lap. This lap is going to be the lap of the DRS, and uh, we're gonna, with the help of the slipstreaming and with the help of the DRS, we're gonna try and go around the outside of Dan Ricardo. We make the move stick. He stills on the. He still is on the inside line. Is he gonna hold it up? Yes, he is apparently, but now we get off to. We have better traction. We actually are going to get Dana Ricciardo around the outside. Yes. Moved on up into PA. Next stop is Felipe Nazo. But that's provisionally. Provisional first position here at the back after this move on Dana Ricciardo. Saying that we're going to try and get uh, Felipe Nazo up in the line widen the line apparently but um, moved on up into P7 now it's now time for Nico Hogeberg he's on the medium tire so medium tires seem to walk the medium tire strategy seem to be walking for both the full cities as we just overtook uh, Hogeberg but now on the lead of the race is Sergio Perez lap 15 and um, I'm actually going to come uh, into the pit stop sauce at the same time. Sergio Perez uh, is actually also coming to the pit stop. So he's actually Sergio Perez fighting for this victory. I don't know, like he's he's went on till lap 16. So apparently he's still in the game for finishing on the top of the podium. 
but we, do we just gotta wait and see how strategy pays off for, for those guys on the medium type because if they made actually the right choice I think also Verstappen has made the right choice so we just gotta wait and see what is gonna happen with those guys who actually went on to a set of medium ties so yeah and um, we just gotta wait and see how the race how the race goes it's lap 17 my team and he's trying to retake the Williams but now they slow everybody slowed down there because of Bottas who stepped on the brakes after trying to overtake Massa and uh, yeah we, we overtook both my team and eventually Bottas we're up into P6 but our next stop is the other Williams of Felipe Massa we're gonna try and get it probably once again we're gonna try and make that move around the outside stick it around the outside much easier than the move that we made on the real Harianto and yeah uh, once again so satisfying to make that move around the outside up into P5 and now on lap 20 we cut up to the back of uh, uh, Carlos Sainz Giudio and we're gonna make that move sick probably down the inside he just quietly doesn't have any of that he keeps up with us he tries to fight for his place um, for his position but uh, now uh, it's game over DRS better car we're up into P2 and Rico Rosberg into P1 at the moment lap 23 guys we're entering the pit stops for a set of soft tires this is going to be probably our last pit stop on this race uh, we're going to make 11 laps on a seft on a seft on a seft anyways on a set of uh, medium tires uh, yeah I didn't have any more ti any more soft tires to go to the end of and um, yeah we just uh, went on to do to go on a set of medium so if I had a set of soft then I would go I would have gone on it but what can I say about my teammate? Once again, he just, he just seriously, just you know, I don't know, it is it, it, the, the like the strategy department. It is him. I don't know whoever it is. Why the hell did they put him on super softs? Super softs are gonna are gonna rub off uh, like six laps. He can make it till the end of the race, but once again, terrible strategy for my teammates. Uh, I don't know what to, how to describe the strategy, but now. Lap 28, we don't have a lot of laps remaining and the cars ahead of Lewis Hamilton is Max Verstappen and uh, Nico Rosberg fighting for the lead but we get down inside of Lewis Hamilton and uh, as the laps were passing I saw that I just fucked up in the strategy and uh, I just fucked up in the strategy by like uh, it was lap 31, Max Verstappen has overtaken Nico Rosberg as we also have done but um, there was a gap for me and Max uh, at around uh, like um, 3.2 seconds and I only had 3 laps remaining and at the end of the day like as I was I, I was pushing I was pushing at the limit but apparently it wasn't enough it wasn't enough because uh, when I when we came across uh, into the last lap um, I couldn't I couldn't catch up with him Instead, he he, he has so built a gap and he has won the race. So, you know. the winner of the German Grand Prix it's none other than Max Verstappen. It wasn't me. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you know, Good job this it is a podium drive. finish, Thank but you. it is a podium finish. But indeed, like I I made the wrong strategy call. Um, if I think I, I think I, uh, if I would have ended the pits for a set of mediums on my first pit, then the I think I, I would be at the same position as Max because right today. I think I've done an extra pit stop. I think I've used far too many out, sets of softs, and uh, they really help me out on um, so actually build a gap for Max Verstappen. So my strategy really didn't help at all I think it's a strategy that made me lose this race so we lost a race apparently um, I don't know like I did I never thought I would lose this race because I wasn't poor I've won much harder races than this one and um, the fact that we lost a race because of strategy and not because of pure pace it just doesn't really feel like right you know but um, 
Max Verstappen, he's decided to uh, push a little bit more than the other races and win, finally win a race here in this season because we've been dominant this season. Uh, you got to say, like, uh, with legendary AI, legendary AI, like, I wasn't expecting to win so many races. So, <laughs> Ultimate AI is the target for next, uh, for next, uh, yeah, for next, for the next season. But Kevin Magnussen, because of his shit strategy again, P10 for him. He actually lost the position now from Nico Rosberg in the driver standings. He's down into P11. Things are now are going from bad to worse for Kevin Magnussen. Like he started off quite badly, he's keeping on quite badly. Um, like nothing's going uh, well for Kevin. Like uh, if I was in, if I was in his position, I would leave the team. But fortunately, you can't change teams in this game because of uh, your own management. But on the constructor standings, we are still second. Uh, we lost actually some points on Red Bull. We are now 27 points. Um, behind them, not 24, but um, I hope I hope that Kevin can up his game and uh, help us in the constructor standings, but Sox Championship. But that was it for today, guys. If you enjoyed, smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Ask me anything you want to But yeah, the next one, which is going to be a factor. I'll see you next time.